Uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, welcome to the Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube channel. A uh, big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. Uh, kaka ni seme hivi, na haya mambo ni takao ya zungumza, sio kumkejeli mtu, lakini ni kusema ukweli. 2022, makanisa ya litumiwa sana kutafutia William Ruto kura. Hakuna kanisa ambalo Ruto hakutembea. Alichanga pesa kwa makanisa Kenya nzima. Alijenga makanisa Kenya nzima. Including kanisa la Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. Nilisimama hapa nikaambia hawa mapasta. Wakati ruto atachukua kura. He! Chipange. Wakati siku ruto ataketi state house. Ndugu zanguni. Dio. Mume muita makanisa. Mume omba. Sawa. He. Ame wachangia pesa mume jenga kanisa. Ni sawa. Mume sema huyu ni mkristo mwenzetu. Ni sawa. Ile siku atakapoketi katika kile kiti state house. Eh? Mutajua hamujui. Haijalishi kama uli musupport. Kaka. Unajua. In uh, 2020. Nakumbuka vizuri sana. Ruto aliaten kanisa la Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. Nairobi. Wakati alikuwa pale, Bishop Margaret Wanjiru alisimama. Akazungumza maneno ambayo Nimeyapitia leo na nikasema kweli hey, kuna Mungu mbinguni wa kujibu maombi. Hao watu walitusi Raila vibaya. Hao watu walitusi Uhuru Kenyatta vibaya. Wakafikiria siku yao haitafika. Hey. 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 Huyu mama alimuabudu Ruto. Alimuinamia Ruto. Akasema maneno mazito. <laughs> Nikiangalia Bishop analia, he, asema wacha Mungu aitwe Mungu. Akiangalia can you listen? Kilipu ambacho ni nakuwekia ni, ni ndani kanisani. Jesus is alive ministries. You can even see the background. Ni kanisalake Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. Can we listen to what she's saying in the church? Hebu tuange hapa. Mazee sijaona kiongozi mwenye ni namuendea. Na musifanya nilie leo. You know when I went to him and I told him I want to build and we started talking about next year, next year but one and then out of a sudden he said let's do it now come off it where have you ever found hey which leader of his level can you get a fundraising organized within a couple of days? Ninani huyo? Wengine hata watakudanganya, watakuja hautawaona. Utawaona wakitaka kura. Huyo hajanituma nimtafutie kura. Nimejituma nimejipatia shughuli. Nimejipatia shughuli. Whatever it will take. And Jiam, you know me, and I know you. If you're determined, you'll get it done. 
Diamu mulisema sitakufa sikukufa. Mulikataa. Muliomba. Nilikuwa nawaonea kwa mtandao. Mulikataa. One nurse in Agakan Hospital alikuja akaniambia bishop you don't even know the prayers in this city are in another level. People refused for me to die. So Kenyans let us refuse tribalism. Let us refuse to be controlled, to be used and to be dumped. Deputy President taught me one day. He said to me, Bishop Margaret, it's either you are on the table making decisions or you are in the kitchen with the menu. And when you are in the menu, you can be eaten. When you are on the table, umefika. Mnataka tukai kwa meza ama tukai jikoni? Hey. Na usiniambie nilisoma hiyo kwa notes inatoka kwa roho haikuwa kwa notes. Waheshimiwa wote wa Nairobi wenye mmefika leo na wapenda. And I believe together the Nairobian MPs who are here. We have the muscle, we have the money, we have the vehicles, we have the sound system. Hii sound unasikia hapa, hakuna sound hapa tumeomba ya mtu. Hii yote ni yetu. Hii viti yote imekaliwa hapa yote ni yetu. Hapa kitu ambao sio yetu ni hii hema. Mimi si tumyangi hema sina hema. So here everything you see screens everything else ours with our vehicles put the sound on top let's hit the ground brother gakuya my big bro let's hit the ground let's make sure najua nilifurahi sana sorry sir mimi najua mambo ya bbi hata wewe uonge yangi when his excellency the president muko side hiyo lakini hapa ground mambo ni tofauti Hapa ground mambo ni Hapa ni story ingine. Kuna I want to I want to go through the speech from Margaret Wanjiru. Anasema alienda akalia mbele ya Ruth akamwambia nataka kujenga kanisa. Ni amesema sio mimi from that clip Aliposema Ruth akamwambia twende tuchange tujenge kanisa. So kanisa ambalo linabomolewa na serikali ya Ruto ni kanisa ambalo Ruto mwenyewe alijenga. Siji kama unanipata. Kanisa lililobomolewa jana ni kanisa ambalo Ruto mwenyewe in person alifanya mchango wakajenga. Jesus is a life minister. Margaret anazidi kusema Let's not agree to be used and dumped. He was warning the congregants and the people present at that time. Margaret ya rutumi wa Naruto akatupwa nje wakati wa nomination sakaja akapewa ticket bado hakusoma Margaret was used and she was dumb like a trash Hapa anasema tusikubali kutumiwa lakini yeye ndiye alitumiwa wakati wa nomination akatupwa nje sakaja akapewa Miaka michache imeenda ndio huyo kanisa lake limebomolewa So hapa sasa kwa hii story ni nani ametumiwa who has been used and dumped like a tissue paper who margaret nan i'm asking you who she father says it's either you are on the table making decisions or you are in the kitchen with the menu yeye ndiye amesema So Margaret alifikiria Ruth akishinda kula she would be at the table making decisions. Lakini jana amejaribu kutafuta Ruto wapi? Amejaribu kupiga simu wapi? I thought Margaret was at the table making decisions. 
I thought ni mtu angechukua simu apigie ruto ruta wacha mkutano aende kuchukua simu yake kaka that is what i thought what went wrong ya ni nini kilitendeka what happened na umesikia akisema when you are in the kitchen you will be eaten now she is being eaten eh kweli mungu hauwezi kugeuza kanisa likuwe platform ya siasa and you succeed i swear and i warned you in advance i swear uligeuza kanisa likawa mahali pa siasa mungu amekasirika wakati mungu amekasirika anatumia wanadamu kukumaliza ulifurahia wakati huo ukalao kanisa likawa avenue ya kutusi uhuru na raila ukalao kanisa ikawa avenue ya siasa sasa matokeo ni kama hayo you have been eaten vira ulitabiri kwamba when you are in the kitchen you will be eaten surely you have been eaten magret umekulwa you have been eaten i want to assure you ruto has eaten you <laughs> because you prophesied you prophesied about kutumiwa na kutupo umetumiwa umetupo nje kama tisu You prophesied about kukulwa kama eh, kama menyu. Saa hii unatafunua paka mvupa. Na bado utalia, utasaka meno, utakonda, utatoa macho nje, utalia and there's nothing you'll do about it. Ni kukulwa tu. Now The sentiments that Margaret Wanjiru is making are haunting her back. And I want to tell her. Leo <laughs> uliitisha press conference ukiwa na wachungaji siji 7800. Explaining how goons attacked you. Mtu ya ruto ya ndani, mwenye yako kwa meza making decisions. Mbona unakulwa kama menyu? Swali langu la balaha. Mbona unakulwa madam? Mbona? Mbona unafia kwa? <laughs> Why are you being it? Bora na kulwa, bora na kulwa bada, Margaret, bora na kulwa. Wewe ndio ulisaba ukiwa beju unatafunwa, unatafunwa, unakulwa. Sio maneno yangu kaka, bibi si busiseme it is a valiga, hapana. Bisha amesema kwa video ukiwa katika menu you are eaten Na I'm asking her Margaret mbona mbona unakubali kukulwa bwana <laughs> why you why do you accept to be eaten <laughs> So nimesikia leo kuna press conference and she's crying Anasema walichapwa akavuliwa nguo Hamepiwa. but i want to tell her in simple terms margaret sisi hatutakusaidia whether you whether you you hold 40 press conferences a day whether you cry whether you parade 100 pastors crying we have no help for you you are ruto's uh, daughter you are ruto's woman pick a phone call and call ruto muliambiwa state house hakuna kufungiwa ni yenu kama wachungaji so tafadhali na kuomba Anza safa hii kelele yote unatupigia hapa sisi we can't help you. you ni kama kupigia mbuzi kitu and we, in fact we are enjoying your noise just what you do hapo eh hiyo tawa sijui inaitwaje hiyo sijui kuna jina uliita hiyo yako just walk to state house and ask ruto why he allowed the officers to demolish the church of his supporter Sisi ukitulia hapa hatuna usaidizi. Ni kulia tu and we are laughing at you. You can even you go and stand even in Mount Kilimanjaro and shout. There is nothing that will change. That's the gentleman. If you are coming from various parts of the country to kiss it town, come on atoka America, Canada, Australia, Nairobi, Mombasa and you are coming to Kisi. You need to see the beauty of Kisi. Visit hotel Nyakwaya. It's ever beautiful. Kama uko na birthday ya mtoto, kama unataka kufanya harusi, kama uko na reception yako ya birthday, kama unataka kufanya engagement, if you want to propose, 
visit hotel Nyakoe today. It's ever beautiful. You can never be the same. Tembea pale wameunda kila kitu vizuri. The scenery is beautiful. Visit hotel Nyakoe today and you will never regret. God bless you in the next video. Asante ni sana wa Kenya.